future for me, uh, a lot more time with my kids, a lot more time knitting. I want to be able to kind of expand my made with love knitting world to hopefully bring my passion for knitting to more people, crochet, you know, just generally hand making things and slowing down and trying to, you know, be a little bit more mindful with the way that we make things. How does it feel this being your last Olympic Games? I, I don't think I, it could have gone any better for me at these last Olympic Games. Coming into this one, everything felt like a bonus already. And to be able to do this, you know, this last lap, to be able to go around the Olympic cycle again, it was, it felt very special. And to be able to do that with alongside my synchro partner, Noah, who is around here somewhere, I don't actually know where. But yes, I, I feel very proud to have given it another go. Who you heard him mention it there daily hopefully will still be around for the competitions and can continue his knitting on the sidelines. Daily's union Jack Cardigan was a big project for the silver medalist in Paris and he was seen by the pool throughout the games working on it. But it was also part of the reason his medal didn't come on the train home with him. I did leave my medal in the village in Paris so it is, it is found, I have it. It's in my, I made a little croissant bag for it and I took it out to pack the duvet and I left the yeah, anyway, it's on its way back to London, but it's not with me right now, so... Did you lose it or misplace it? No, I, when I... I was, we get given, like, a little duvet on our beds that we take off and can roll up, and I had to take stuff out of my bag to be able to squish it in, and I did not put the croissant bag that has my... So, you know, it's a crocheted croissant bag. It was, and then it was left right at the bottom of my bed, which was not ideal.